Hi, this is Mike Ramos with Coldwell Banker Select Real Estate here in Reno, Nevada. Uh, today is April 22nd, Thursday. Uh, beautiful weather, beautiful spring weather. Expected to have uh, temperature in the 70s over this weekend. Uh, I wanted to bring to you today a very important topic, especially here in the Reno Sparks area. Um, and I'm sure they're in many parts of the country. We are a, what we call a hot seller's market. There are many more buyers than there are available listings. Uh, so what I thought I'd take a step back and uh, present to you what I feel are important tips uh, to get your uh, purchase offer accepted the first time. One of the things that I want to uh, emphasize is, especially to first time home buyers, you know, this is not your 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 dream home that you're going after. Uh, you know, a lot of buyers uh, take the, the process too seriously. You're trying to get your foot in the door. You're, you're trying to get into the game. You know, so so don't take it, uh, you know, too seriously. You know, it's not your dream home. Let's start. Let's, let's work on start getting your 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 foot in the first home that you purchase. First off, I'd like to talk about. You know, know how current buyers are getting their offers submitted. Obviously, some you know buyers are buying homes, so let's let's kind of think about uh, what makes those offers more acceptable uh, than yours when you presented it. Number one, can you close a gap in the appraisal process? Uh, you know, should the appraisal come up short? So, example, uh, if you uh, offered three seventy five. And the seller accepted 375, but the um, home only appraised at 370. Can you make up that $5,000 shortfall? Um, and you know, and maybe that's where uh, you know a gift from family uh, comes in into play. Uh, can you put a larger earnest money deposit or down payment uh, into the deal? Uh, earnest money deposits used to be, you know, $1,000, $2,000. Now they're averaging anywhere from three to $5,000. Uh, can you, are you will can you pay uh, more of the closing costs versus offering or, or asking the uh, seller to split the, the closing costs? Here in Nevada, all costs associated with the purchase of real estate uh, are negotiable. Uh, however, there are customary costs that the seller pays and customary costs that the, the buyer pays. Uh, what I'm suggesting here is, can you offer to pay some of those, uh, you know, costs that the, the seller would normally pay? For example, half of the escrow fees, um, you know, uh, maybe, uh, you know, any repair costs. Uh, can you be flexible with the escrow closing date? A lot of times in today's market, um, sellers have put an offer on a brand new construction house, so they need to rent back uh, their home from their buyer uh, for a month or two. Can you do that? Will your lender agree to you doing that? Moving on, um, have an agent that's experienced and uh, knows the market and the neighborhood. Uh, you know, uh, you need an agent that knows the market stats, uh, what comparable homes have sold for, what rates, uh, what prices are trending, how they're trending up, increasing. Are they going up one to two percent a month or are they going three to five percent a month? Your agent needs to know these things. Moving on, and I can't up impress upon you this strongly enough. Submit Submit your best offer up front. Start with the strongest, cleanest offer up front. Don't expect that you'll get a second chance to come back and make another offer. Have your loan pre-approved uh, with all contingencies satisfied uh, with the exception of perhaps a title report and a satisfactory appraisal. Uh, number three, offer to buy the home in its present as is conditioned subject to your review of inspection reports. Ask for the basic physical home inspection report. This inspection report will, uh, you know, check the interior. The inspector will go into the, the crawl space, will go up in the attic. Uh, and if they, if that inspector uh, notices some things that uh, perhaps a 
pest in, uh, infestation, then you can also ask then for uh, a pest inspection to get done. Uh, best not to have your offer contingent on the sale of another house. Uh, if you have reserve funds uh, or buying it all cash, okay, are you willing to waive the appraisal contingency? And again, we talked about this earlier about, you know, should your appraisal come in short? Consider writing what I call a love letter to the sellers, convincing them that, you know, how much you love their home and you want to raise your family there and you'd love to see your, your kids play in the backyard. Uh, you know, uh, I, on this note, uh, because of uh, current uh, laws regarding fair housing, I would suggest you don't include photographs of yourself and or your family. Just simply put together a letter. And how an experienced agent can help uh, once you get the offer uh, ready to submit. Uh, prior to submitting the offer, your agent should make a physical phone call. That's a, actually pick up the phone, call the marketing agent and find out, you know, find out what the particulars of the seller. You know, does the seller have a preferred title company? Uh, is there a preferred uh, closing timeline? Uh, is your, uh, if your offer is accepted, uh, your, your agent needs to stay on all the contract uh, deadlines and timelines because it, uh, there's the possibility that if they miss a deadline in the contract, that contract uh, purchase a contract may be out of contract, meaning that the seller can cancel it and get a backup offer in there, perhaps one that he, that is uh, for a higher sale price. Before we leave, I want to talk to you about interest rates really quickly. Uh, current interest rates, just a little over 3%. Uh, they were uh, about 3.18%. They have come down to about 3.04%, meaning that if you're a buyer, you're, um, you have a stronger buying power. If you're a seller, uh, you have uh, more buyers that are able to purchase your home. Hopefully this information is helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information, as always, at the beginning of this uh, video and at the bottom of this email, um, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks and have a great day.